So all the gay guys out there who haven't lost their virginity yet, it hurts, don't rush. Anyway, gay sex, it's, it hurts the first time. For both people, <laughs> both parties involved, it hurts. Unless, anyway. Um, what was I saying? What were we talking about? Watch the Marcus Ward Show. It is one of the best YouTube channels ever. When did you know you were gay? Wow. Um, you know, when I was little, like mm -hmm. uh, third, fourth grade mm -hmm. area, I used to make my mom buy these muscle magazines. These guys with muscles. I didn't really know I was attracted to the man. I just knew I wasn't attracted to women. So what is it about a woman that you don't find attractive? That you that leads you to a man? Uh done nothing. There's just mm -hmm. women are beautiful. You know, there are some gorgeous women out there. I'm the first one to say, wow, that girl's hot. You know, I'm not the first to want to jump on it. You know, I'm not the first one who wants to go forward and have sex with this girl, you know. I'm just trying to do my thing. But you know, it's how do I explain this? It's not that I am not attracted to them, it's just that I'm not interested. Not interested in woman. Has a woman ever come on to you? Yeah. Plenty of times. I've had a girlfriend. I've had sex with a girl. You had sex with a girl? Yeah. Okay. It was gross. Okay. <laughs> in, in seventh grade? Or? No, not in seventh grade. Freshman year, five, so okay, ninth grade. Eighth grade going into freshman year, mm -hmm. I had my first experience with a guy. Oh, he asked me, do you think I'm hot? And you know, I never had gotten asked by a guy that okay. question because I had semi come out as bi. Okay. In my eighth grade class, which okay. was a tragic mistake. I got spit on. For being gay? Yeah. Uh, someone actually. Someone. Spit I, remember on one, I remember one boy. He had come up to me in eighth grade and he knew I found him attractive in eighth grade. Because uh, at that point I was like, well, fuck it, I'm not going to hide it. Mm -hmm. Because he was like, yo, you're hot. You know, like, mm -hmm. but, uh, so so by, by the time you were in eighth grade, would you walk up to men in. in no, I mean, I used to do it, I used to do it just to like, when they would tease me, just to creep them out. Mm -hmm. I would like, tend to like, act real femme and, <laughs> okay. and girl and like, uh -huh. cross my hips. I would try to come on to them and they all run away. Okay. It's kind of funny. Okay. You know, so that was your way of retaliating? Yeah. Okay. So what, what, did, what did the man say to you? Put your slimy cock in my crusty asshole and he like, whispered it into my ear. It's so demeaning. To hear that from someone. What was the worst thing someone has ever called you for being gay? You know, I've been called faggot so many times it doesn't even hurt anymore. I was called a faggot way before I even came out. Because you did theater. I danced. I sang. I liked things that the guys didn't. I didn't do Little League. I didn't do basketball. I used to swim. Do you think your mother knew before? Yeah, she told me. She said she knew when I was in kindergarten. That yellow? Yeah. She said she just could tell. Apparently she could tell with me. What about your father? He came out to my dad in eighth grade. He tried to tell me it was a phase, and it wasn't a phase. I mean, I knew mm -hmm. I, was, I was gay, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, dad, it's not a phase. So he's gay. Anything kind of twice. Twice. And we, like, sat back, and he took it. He took it all right, you know? And it was a little weird at first, and, you know, he wasn't sure how to go about it. But, mm -hmm. you know, now that it's been, God, like... Has he ever pulled you? Has seven he ever years. Has he ever called you a faggot or no. has he ever made you feel different? I can't say yes, but I can't say no. If your father was to watch this, what do you think he would say? Would he be proud of you or what? Nah, he'd kill me. He'd be like, everything comes back to bite you in the ass, Dan, don't you know? Oh, this will yeah. never come off the internet. Rah, 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 rah. Okay. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Why do you think people are against gays? Because it's not what they're used to. Nobody likes change. Change scares people. So to have something like that, completely different, mm -hmm. and in the open, mm -hmm. frightens people. What are the stereotypes of being gay? Being, being gay, you know, being mm -hmm. tight pants, narrow hips, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing, you know. Stuff. If we could, if we do, if we could just pump some gay men into the fucking you know, sports teams, you can do what straight men are not going to root their favorite team because the guy's gay on the field. But a gay guy in a NASCAR, you know, 
put a gay guy in a, on a hockey rink, put a, you know, put a gay guy in a fucking army suit and make him fly a jet. You know? Do you regret coming out? Never. Never, never. I mean, there are men who get married to women in this still gay. I would know. I see them on Grindr. <laughs> what is that? It's a gay ass thing. Have you ever been in a relationship with a female? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And during that time, did you know you were still gay? Did you feel like, yes. I'm covering up? Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Do you think men should do that? It's okay for a man to yeah, still be right out. No, but do you think it's okay for a man to still be married or have a girlfriend and still have sex I with mean, a man? I, I have to say no because that's breaking wedding vows and stuff like that. How many women have you slept with? Let's get the calculator. Oh. Wait, let's like, do I got my phone on me? Okay, <laughs> let's, let's break it down. Um, How many? Do you need a minute to count? I do. I probably don't remember half. So I'm going to say from, for me, from starting at 16 to 20, I'm mm -hmm. 20 years old. Uh -huh. 20, 21 different women. 21 different women you've slept but with. Mm -hmm. There was like a couple that I had, like most of them was like, like at least so 17 of them is like one night stand. Have you had one night stands before? Yeah, of course. They weren't at night, but yeah. Were they all protected? No. What do you mean, like wearing protection? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Most. Most. How many people have you had sex with? Do I need a calculator? No, <laughs> okay. No, right. I just, I just, uh, how many? this and they may call you promiscuous. What do you say to those people? You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I haven't had a relationship mm -hmm. where I haven't cheated on my guy. But Is it just sex that you want? All the time. Mm -hmm. I mean sometimes I, I fall in love. Mm -hmm. Have you fallen in love with someone before? Several times. And then but still cheated on them? Well First one fucking deserved it. Okay. <laughs> it's so good to be with someone you're not with. It's it's just like the sex is better. I can't explain it any other way. Okay. And it's you know, and that's why I feel like the sex addict idea comes in, where it's like, you know, I'm a, I'm driven towards that, mm -hmm. towards that idea of being with someone that you're not emotionally with. Yes. Have you ever been cheated on? Yes, plenty of times. Do you think it, it's almost like a defense mechanism that I'll cheat on you before you cheat on me? Maybe. Maybe. Are you afraid to love? Yes, sir. So would you say you would have sex with a, another nine people? I probably will. By the time I die, the world's a big fucking place. So if you find someone attractive and they say, yes, I'll have sex with you, you go for it. Well, no. Mm -hmm. I mean, how well do I know this person? Well, you tell me. Yeah. I mean, if I know them, like, I'm not going like, to meet a random stranger and have mm -hmm. sex with them. Mm -hmm. I, that would skew me out. I mean, mm -hmm. that I don't know where your dick's been. What about females? No. No. Females are my friends. Mm -hmm. Do you have any... Can you see yourself as a female at any point in your life? No. No? No. At all? No. Have you thought about children, a yeah. wife? I thought about children. Mm -hmm. Do you want kids? Yeah. I want to be a dad so badly. You do? It's my, one of the main things that keeps me going every morning is that one day I'll have a family. Would you have sex with a woman? No. 
Traditionally, it's a mother and a father. So if the child sees two women and no man, what, how would I mean, you it doesn't that? matter. Like, I mean, I, I told you, I said, I would tell my child that it doesn't matter because, you know, love is love. Like, if you find somebody that's willing to be with you for the rest of your life, mm -hmm. then go for it. Like, I'm not going to tell my child that that's wrong mm -hmm. or it's right. What would you explain to your adoptive child about having a man and a man? As yes, a man. yes. This is dad, and this is, you know, mom, dad. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I would just tell them, we both love you. Who cares what anyone else thinks? Mm -hmm. I love you. They love you. We love you. We'll care for you. We'll take care of you. We're going to give you a bed. We're going to give you food. So you're going to have a mom. We love you just as much. seems to be that in black men, gay black men, there there's just there's two extremes. There's the really gay black guy, and then there's the super straight gay black guy. It makes me feel comforted, I guess, to see that there's someone more masculine than me. And to have sex with someone like that, you know. Or even someone that's more feminine than I. 